Welcome back to Journey's Life. If you've ever wondered about the most incredible, awe-inspiring places France has to offer, then buckle up. We're about to take you on a whirlwind tour of the top 10 wonders in France that you absolutely cannot miss. From charming villages to jaw-dropping natural landscapes, these are the places that'll make you fall in love with France all over again. Mont Saint-Michel. Let's kick off our journey with a destination that seems almost otherworldly. Mont Saint-Michel. Rising majestically from the waters of Normandy, this iconic abbey has been captivating visitors for over a thousand years. The moment you lay eyes on this fortress-like structure perched on a tidal island, you'll understand why it's one of the most photographed spots in the world. But Mont Saint-Michel is more than just a pretty face. It's a place steeped in history and legend. Imagine walking through narrow, winding streets that echo with the footsteps of medieval pilgrims, all leading up to the breathtaking abbey at the summit. As you explore, you'll find hidden courtyards, ancient chapels, and panoramic views that stretch out over the bay. And when the tide rises, transforming the landscape into a shimmering sea, you'll feel like you've stepped into a scene from a fantasy novel. Whether you're there to soak in the history, capture stunning photos, or simply lose yourself in the beauty of it all, Mont Saint-Michel is a must-visit. It's not just a destination, it's an experience you'll carry with you long after you've left. So why wait? Start planning your visit to this UNESCO World Heritage Site now. Is Mont Saint-Michel on your travel bucket list? If not, it should be. Let us know in the comments below if this stunning location just made the cut. The Lavender Fields of Provence Next, we head to a place where nature puts on one of its most spectacular displays, the Lavender Fields of Provence. Picture this. As far as the eye can see, fields of vibrant purple lavender stretch out before you, swaying gently in the breeze. The air is filled with the sweet, soothing scent of lavender, and all around you, the soft hum of bees busy at work. Provence is famous for its lavender, and for good reason. The sight of these fields in full bloom is nothing short of breathtaking. It's not just about the visuals, the experience is immersive. As you walk through the fields, the fragrance envelops you, calming your senses and creating a serene atmosphere that's hard to find anywhere else. The best time to visit is in the summer months, from late June to early August, when the lavender is in full bloom. You want to have your camera ready, because every angle offers a new perspective on this natural wonder. But it's not just about the photos. Take a moment to simply stand still, breathe in the scent, and appreciate the beauty of the moment. And don't forget to visit the local markets, where you can buy everything from lavender soaps to honey infused with the essence of these purple flowers. Provence isn't just a place, it's a sensory experience that'll stay with you forever. The Village of Ricavir. Now let's step into a real-life storybook, The Village of Ricavir. Nestled in the heart of Alsace, this charming village looks like it was plucked straight from a fairy tale. It's no wonder Disney used Ricavir as inspiration for the village in Beauty and the Beast. As you wander through the narrow cobblestone streets, you'll be surrounded by half-timbered houses with colorful facades and overflowing flower boxes. Every turn you take reveals another picturesque alley, another hidden gem. Ricavir is a place where time seems to stand still. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the beauty of the past. And let's not forget the wine. Ricavir is in the heart of Alsace wine country, known for its crisp, aromatic white wines. Be sure to stop by a local winery for a tasting you'll quickly discover why Alsace wines are some of the best in the world. Whether you're a history buff, a wine lover, or just someone who appreciates stunning architecture, Ricavir has something for everyone. It's a village that captures the essence of Alsace and offers a glimpse into a world where beauty and tradition go hand in hand. If you're loving this journey so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss the next village on our list. It's even more magical. The Calanque of Marseille. Our next stop takes us to a natural wonder that's a well kept secret. The Calanque of Marseille. Picture this rugged limestone cliffs plunging into crystal clear turquoise waters. 
It's the perfect destination for adventure lovers, offering some of the best hiking, kayaking, and swimming in all of France. The Calonques are a series of narrow, steep-walled inlets along the Mediterranean coast, stretching from Marseille to Cassis. Each Calonque offers something unique, whether it's a hidden beach, a tranquil cove, or a challenging hike with rewarding views. The contrast between the white cliffs and the azure waters creates a stunning landscape that feels like it belongs in another world. One of the best ways to explore the Calonque is by boat, allowing you to see these natural wonders up close and discover hidden spots that are inaccessible by land. But if you're up for a challenge, hiking along the rugged trails will take you to some of the most breathtaking viewpoints in the region. Whether you're exploring the cliffs from a boat or diving into the deep blue, the Calonque will leave you in awe. This is the kind of place that stays with you long after you've left, a hidden gem that'll make your journey unforgettable. The Chateau de Chambord Last but certainly not least, we arrive at one of the most iconic chateaux in the world, Chateau de Chambord. This Renaissance masterpiece is not just a castle, but a symbol of grandeur and ambition. With over 400 rooms, a double helix staircase designed by Leonardo da Vinci, and grounds that stretch for miles, Chambord is a place where history and art collide. Built in the 16th century as a hunting lodge for King Francis I, Chateau de Chambord is a marvel of French Renaissance architecture. The castle's intricate facade, adorned with countless turrets and chimneys, is a sight to behold. Inside, the grand rooms are filled with ornate furnishings, tapestries, and works of art, offering a glimpse into the opulent lifestyle of the French nobility. But what makes Chambord truly special is its unique design. The double helix staircase at the center of the castle is an engineering marvel, allowing two people to ascend and descend without ever crossing paths. And the expansive grounds with their formal gardens, forests, and canals offer endless opportunities for exploration. Whether you are a history enthusiast, an architecture lover, or simply someone who appreciates beauty in all its forms, Chateau de Chambord is a must-see. It's not just a visit, it's a journey back in time. The Dune of Pila From the grandeur of the chateau, we now venture into the heart of nature's masterpiece, the Dune of Pila. Imagine standing atop the highest sand dune in Europe, with views that stretch from the emerald green pine forest of the Lone to the sparkling waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The Dune of Pila, located in the Arcachon Bay area, is a natural wonder that must be seen to be believed. Rising over 100 meters above sea level and stretching nearly 3 kilometers long, the dune offers a unique experience for visitors. Whether you choose to climb to the top and take in the breathtaking views, or simply relax on the warm sands at its base, the dune of Pila is a place where you can reconnect with nature. As you ascend the dune, each step takes you higher above the landscape, offering panoramic views that are nothing short of spectacular. And once you reach the summit, the sight of the ocean stretching out to the horizon is an unforgettable reward for your efforts. For those seeking adventure, the surrounding area offers plenty of activities, from paragliding over the dune to exploring the nearby forest and beaches. But even if you're just here to take in the views, the Dune of Pilon is a destination that'll leave you with memories to last a lifetime. The Gorge du Verdon Next, we take you to a place often called the Grand Canyon of Europe, the Gorge du Verdon. Carved by the Verdon River, this stunning canyon stretches for 25 kilometers through the heart of Provence, offering some of the most dramatic and breathtaking landscapes in all of France. The gorge's towering limestone cliffs, which rise up to 700 meters above the turquoise waters of the river below, create a scene of unparalleled natural beauty. Whether you're here to hike along the rim, paddle through the crystal clear waters, or simply soak in the views from one of the many viewpoints, the Gorge du Verdon is a destination that promises adventure and awe. 
For those who love outdoor activities, the Gorge du Verdon is a paradise. You can kayak or canoe through the calm stretches of the river. Or, for the more daring, try your hand at whitewater rafting. Hiking trails such as the Sentier Martel offer challenging yet rewarding routes with breathtaking vistas at every turn. But it's not just the physical beauty that captivates, it's the sense of peace and tranquility that comes from being surrounded by such an awe-inspiring landscape. The Gorge du Verdon is a place where you can truly disconnect from the world and reconnect with nature. The City of Carcassonne Stepping back into the realm of history, we arrive at the medieval city of Carcassonne. This fortified city with its double-walled defenses, towering turrets, and winding cobblestone streets is one of the most impressive and well-preserved examples of medieval architecture in Europe. As you approach Carcassonne, the sight of its imposing walls and battlements rising above the surrounding countryside is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Inside, the city is a labyrinth of narrow alleys, ancient stone buildings, and hidden courtyards that transport you back to a time of knights and castles. One of the highlights of any visit to Carcassonne is a walk along the city's ramparts. From here, you can take in sweeping views of the surrounding landscape and get a true sense of the scale and strength of the city's defenses. And don't miss the Basilica of Saints Nazarius and Celsus, with its stunning stained glass windows and intricate carvings. Carcassonne is more than just a historical site. It's a living, breathing city where history comes alive. Whether you are exploring the old town, enjoying a meal in one of the many restaurants, or simply soaking in the atmosphere, Carcassonne is a place that'll capture your imagination and leave you longing for more. The Palace of Versailles From medieval fortresses, we move to a symbol of absolute power and opulence, the Palace of Versailles. Once the royal residence of King Louis XIV, Versailles is a masterpiece of French Baroque architecture and one of the most famous palaces in the world. The grandeur of Versailles is evident from the moment you arrive. The palace's ornate facade, the vast gardens, and the opulent interiors all speak to the wealth and power of the French monarchy. The Hall of Mirrors, with its glittering chandeliers and endless reflections, is perhaps the most famous room in the palace, but every corner of Versailles offers something extraordinary. The gardens of Versailles are a work of art in themselves. Designed by André Le Nord, these meticulously manicured grounds are filled with fountains, statues, and ornamental lakes, creating a landscape of unparalleled beauty. Whether you're strolling through the gardens, exploring the palace's many rooms, or taking a boat ride on the Grand Canal, Versailles is a place where history and art converge in spectacular fashion. Versailles isn't just about history. It's about experiencing the heights of human achievement in architecture, art, and landscape design. It's a place where you can walk in the footsteps of kings and queens and marvel at the beauty and grandeur of one of the world's most famous landmarks. If you could visit just one royal palace in the world, would it be Versailles? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to join us on more incredible journeys. The French Riviera We conclude our journey in a place synonymous with glamour, luxury, and stunning natural beauty, the French Riviera. This sun-soaked stretch of coastline along the Mediterranean Sea is home to some of the most beautiful beaches, luxurious resorts, and charming seaside towns in France. From the vibrant city of Nice to the glamorous beaches of Cannes and the picturesque harbor of Saint-Tropez, the French Riviera offers something for everyone. Whether you're here to relax on the beach, explore the historic towns, or enjoy the vibrant nightlife, the Riviera is a destination that promises sunshine and sophistication. One of the best ways to experience the French Riviera is by taking a scenic drive along the coast. The winding roads offer breathtaking views of the sea and the mountains, with plenty of opportunities to stop and explore along the way. And don't miss the chance to visit Monaco, 
the tiny principality known for its casinos, yachts, and the famous Monte Carlo. Whether you're seeking relaxation, adventure, or a taste of the high life, the French Riviera is a destination that delivers on every level. It's the perfect way to end our journey through the wonders of France.